You're on a school trip to a museum and, to be honest, not taking the tour all that seriously, laughing at how stern the curator guy is when describing the magnificence of centuries-old European paintings. At one point, the curator tells your group that you're now looking at one of the most remarkable and most expensive paintings that exists in the world today. So naturally, as your group moves on, you decide to take a selfie with it. This doesn't end well, because as you turn to take that shot, you trip, fall backwards, and stick your free hand right through that multi-million dollar piece of art. Oops, you say, wondering how you'll get the 68 million bucks to pay for it. This kind of thing has actually happened, and today you'll hear more about the dumb and clumsy destroying things. Number 10. Pink Grass It's not always about money. Some things that get destroyed are more beautiful than costly. As this story goes, in 2016 in a city in China, it decided it wanted to create an area of beauty. The plan was to import special pink grass seeds from Australia and then plant those seeds in one of the city's parks. The caretaker responsible for cultivating the area said it took her three years to get the place looking how it should, and that meant caring for the pink grass paradise each and every day. Then came the problems, notably hordes of Chinese tourists that wanted to have themselves photographed in that pink paradise. The caretaker was screaming and shouting so much to make them stop, her voice finally went, and then she just had to give up. The hordes couldn't be stopped. That photo in the pink grass was just so important to them. This is what the caretaker later told the media. I've been caring for the growth of this grass, but I never imagined they'd get demolished in just two or three days. To me, they're like my son and daughter. It's like witnessing my sons being beaten by barbarians, but I can do nothing to help. The moral to this story is never, ever underestimate what narcissistic selfie takers will do to get a like on a social media platform. The caretaker said she still had some seeds and will start the project again. We can't put a cost on this damage, but we can say in two days the tourist hordes destroyed three years of work. Number 9. The Curse of the Soap Opera One of Thailand's most cherished ancient temples is called Wat Chai Wat Anaram. For the most part, people walk around the magnificent structure and by no means would they ever start walking on top of the thing. But then in 2018, the temple suddenly started seeing 10,000 tourists a day, many more people than it had come in the past. The reason for the mass of tourists was because it had been featured in a very popular soap opera called Love Destiny. This had been watched in translation all over Asia. Tourists even turned up wearing Thai traditional costume because the soap opera depicted older times. And that was fine, but these new tourists went a bit too far and started climbing all over the temple and in doing so destroyed parts of it. They weren't exploring, of course, and only wanted to get that perfect shot for Instagram. The temple started looking like a scene out of World War Z, albeit the zombies were armed with smartphones. Authorities didn't put a cost on the damage, but when you've ruined parts of a cultural treasure, it's a cost to the country. The authorities eventually had to temporarily close the temple off to tourists so they could begin putting the parts back together. Number 8. Hangover Part 4 Ok, so again, this wasn't about the money, and we'll get to money soon, but this story is just too good not to tell. Two British tourists in 2012 were on vacation in Australia, and they decided that they'd visit SeaWorld. As anyone in their right mind would do, the pair thought it best to drink an entire large bottle of vodka each before they went to see the marine life. We don't really know what happened next, and neither do the drunk guys. What we do know is that when they woke up the next morning, hopping around their hotel room was a penguin. One guy said to the other, Mate, was there a penguin in our room? CCTV had all the answers, and that showed that these guys first set a fire extinguisher off in the shark enclosure. After that, they decided they wanted to take a swim with some dolphins. Sometime later, they were in the penguin enclosure, and that's where they found a penguin named Dirk. They liked Dirk and decided to sneak him out of the place. Once in their hotel room, they took some selfies with Dirk and then the drunks collapsed. The pair were arrested and had to pay around $1,000 in fines. Dirk was returned and SeaWorld's main concern was that those guys were pretty close to jumping into the polar bear enclosure. And that would have been what you call a mortal selfie. Number 7. It seemed like a good fit in 2017, a British family had taken their small child to see an exhibit that was an 800-year-old sandstone coffin. It's believed that this coffin had once been the resting place of a British monk. Obviously, you're not supposed to touch something that old, but the family wanted to take a pretty morbid photo of their child lying in the thing. That didn't end well, and the coffin fell over, breaking a part of it. The family is still at large, but the good news is the cost of fixing the coffin was only 130 bucks. Number 6. Parental Guidance In 2014, a sculpture called Angel in Waiting, created by a famous Chinese artist, was on show at the Shanghai Museum of Glass. 
This thing had been painstakingly put together with tiny fragments of glass and it took the artist 27 months to complete. What happened next is beyond belief. Two mothers of two boys took their little angels to see the sculpture, but then asked the boys to go and play with it. The mothers actually videoed this. Not surprisingly, the kids brought the whole thing down and it smashed into small pieces, rendering it completely unfixable. The kids actually yanked the precious artwork from the wall as the mothers kept their smartphones trained on them. The media didn't say how much the sculpture was worth, but given that the artist was well known and the fact that it took over two years to make, we're thinking it was worth many thousands. Number 5. Bananagate At an exhibition in Miami in 2019, there was one piece of art that had boggled the minds of many. And that's because the artwork consisted of a banana duct taped to a wall. This piece of transcendent art was the brainchild of an Italian artist named Maurizio Catalan. And yeah, you might be thinking that you could have created that, but somehow a French collector actually bought the work for $120,000. One day, a man was walking by this piece of art when he decided to take the banana off the wall and eat it. Now only the wall was left, and so did that mean the thing was destroyed? Well, what is even more confounding is that the museum said it wasn't a big problem because a new banana could replace the one in the man's stomach. The guy was pulled aside, but he never was charged with a crime. The artist has since done another banana on wall work, and that one was sold for $150,000. And let's remember that the art consists of a single, normal, garden variety banana and a bit of tape. Please don't ask us why this is happening because frankly we have no idea. Here at the infographics show we have bananas taped on all the office walls and so far we have no buyers. Now for just some really expensive damage. Number 4. He just needed a hug? In 2018, an American family took their child to an exhibition held at Tomahawk Ridge Community Center in Kansas. Everything was going well until their young son saw a statue and decided to give it a hug. What happened next is the thing fell over and broke into pieces, although thankfully the child wasn't hurt. The bad news is that the statue called Aphrodite to Kansas City was valued at $130,000 and it was smashed so badly that it could not be repaired. So who was at fault? The parents said not them because something that valuable should have had a guardrail around it. The city and the artist thought differently, but we're not sure if that family ever had to pay any money. This is what the mother said about the hug. Maybe my son hugged the torso because he's a loving, sweet, nice boy who just graduated from preschool. Number 3. The Souvenir Taker We're gonna call the cost of this priceless. It happened in 2008, and a Finnish tourist had traveled all the way to that place we call Easter Island. And we're sure you all know that this place is famous for those giant head statues that are known as Moai. Well, there's something like 900 of these statues on the island, and they date back a thousand years. To say the least, they are a monumental achievement and currently a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We're quite sure that every single one of our intelligent viewers would know that you don't mess with these things, but that Finnish tourist might have been a few fries short of a Happy Meal. The tourist went up to one of the statues and decided that he wanted to take a piece home with him as a souvenir. He yanked at the ear and indeed bits came off, if not in small fragments. The guy was caught and he was looking at a 7 year prison sentence, but it seems the authorities were lenient and fined him just $17,000. If you think that's a lot keep watching. Number 2. The Painting Needed My Input In 2012, a Polish man was visiting the Tate Modern Gallery in London. What the museum didn't know is that this guy had come to do some of his own handiwork. His plan was to improve a very famous painting called Black on Maroon. The painting was created in 1958 by an American artist named Mark Rothko, and while it might look rather dull to some observers, it's actually worth 15 to 20 million dollars. That Polish man walked up to it and scrawled over the artwork his name, the number 12, and words a potential piece of yellowism. The gallery wasn't exactly impressed with his addition, and the Polish guy was prosecuted. He ended up spending 18 months in a British prison. After his release, the guy said, I apologize to the British people for what I did. I suppose I wanted to change the art world, but of course, I did it in a very, very wrong way. Restoration took almost two years, and that itself cost 200 grand. But now Black on Maroon is in perfect condition once again. Graffiti can be removed, but large holes and rips are problematic. Number 1. The Destroyers A painting called The Actor by the renowned artist Pablo Picasso had hung peacefully in New York City's Metropolitan Museum of Art since 1952. But then in 2010, The Actor had a hole ripped right through it. What you have to understand is that this piece of art was part of Picasso's valuable early works, and when a woman fell into the thing and ripped it, it was worth well over $100 million. 
The people who were tasked to repair it said with time they could do a good job, but the outcome would be a noticeable line where the 7-inch tear had been. We looked at what art experts said about damaged paintings and they said you can't always say how much a piece of damaged art will lose in value, but one expert said it typically might depreciate 10 to 20 percent, which for a hundred million dollar painting means 10 or 20 million dollars. Add that on to the restoration costs. We just can't say how much that tear cost, but it could be in the millions. Since this was a total accident, the woman who fell into the painting was not charged. We don't think clumsiness is a crime these days. In 2019, another Picasso was beat up, but this time the work was sliced with a knife. The painting in question was called Bust of a Woman. From what we can see, that painting is still undergoing surgery in England, but as the damage was quite severe, we have to wonder if it'll ever get the $26 million it was said to be worth before a man decided to knife it. Do you have a taste for destruction right now? What about the prospect of the world being destroyed? If you want to know how that might happen, take a look at this frightening show. What is the nuclear football, the briefcase that can destroy the world? Or perhaps you'd enjoy this other video over here. Either way, click now.